đây là cảnh với uh, Phoda để đi ra ngoài uh, ngoài biển coi cá sấu cảnh giống Việt Nam lắm nè Ông nào bắt cá sấu nè. Đó, đó, ông nào bắt cá sấu á. Bắt đầu giờ bắt đầu vua rừng trắp để ghe ghe chạy chở đi coi cá sấu. hai bên đường là cái sông vô biển nè đồng bằng ha quá đã Bây giờ bắt đầu ra ra tàu để lên uh, tàu
right, thank you. Don't get out of the boat. You want him to get your feet wet. Good. Okay. We're in the deepest spot right now. We're in about three, four feet of water. Okay, this is the deepest spot that we're going to be in. In just a few moments. Look down That's a real one? Yes, sir. Navigator, see that? Now, right in front of her, those pile of sticks right there in front of her, that's a nest. Right there in front of her, see that pile of sticks right there? That's her nest right there. All right, easy, girl.
Orlando system actually starts at Lake Kissimmee, which is up around Orlando. This portion of the Everglades starts just a little south of Lake Okeechobee, which is about 100 miles north of us as the crow flies. Lake Okeechobee will overflow during the summer rainy months, and it starts a 4,600 square mile watershed, which will flow from Lake Okeechobee. It'll flow south, turn southwest into the Florida Bay. It'll move at about a half a mile to about one to two miles a day. It's very, very slowly to get here. Now, your average depth of water out here, that depends on the rainfall. It also depends on South Florida water management. They're the ones who do control the water here in the Appalachian. Summer months is a rainy season. Gets about a foot and a half, two feet of water out here. Winter months is a dry season. It usually drops down to about four to six inches or so. Average rainfall, about 60 inches of rain a year. Most of that's during the summer, but it will rain here in the winter also on occasions. All right, now, our drinking water. A lot of people actually believe that we get our drinking water directly from the Everglades. Some people think we get it from Lake Okeechobee. Very close. Where we get our drinking water from is through a ground source. There is a type of sedge called sawgrass. Now, that sawgrass, it does serve a purpose here in the Everglades. What it does, it actually helps filtrate the water. Folks, in a nutshell, wetland systems, basically what they are, they're nature's natural water filtration system. That's basically what all wetland systems are here for. All right, now, before we put the earplugs back in, go for a ride. Anybody got any questions? giống về mũi cà mau nè thì đường nước năm căn Now, watermelon. 
bắt bắt bắt, bắt ruồng này về cho ông sư nấu cà ri rùa Nhìn là giống không? Giống tị nạn không? Đi vô lịch thì giống tị nạn quá Ông cá đẹp chụp hình 500 Hả? 12 That one's yours over there And we'll get to him in just a moment Now this little I said to you, I promise you I'm not going to let anything happen to you, all right? Do you know what hissing is? <laughs> He's going to do that to try to scare you. When you're in here, everything you do there, I'm there with you, okay? Norman, seven years old. I'm going to bring Norman closer here so you guys get a better look at him. You could also take photos of him. Now, in the process of handling this alligator, I'm going to pull him by his tail. Now I get lots of people when they see this, they get upset because they think I'm hurting this alligator. Alligators have very powerful jaws, they have a very strong tail. I'm going to show you how to move him. <laughs> Who has the camera okay? Who's the guy with the camera? In captivity over 100 years. Now a male gator could grow to 18 feet, 6 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now remember, now me and you here, okay? <laughs> now alligators have 80 teeth. 40 on the top, 40 on the bottom. Now they lose a tooth, they could grow it that one back within two to three weeks. They can go through about 5,000 teeth in a lifetime. Now getting off this alligator's back, you cover its eyes. <laughs> <laughs> He's out. <laughs> you cover an alligator's eyes, they will totally <laughs> relax. Now when I say relax, He's not asleep. Hey guys, we don't really know what's going on with the big guy. I was only joking about that. But this is Larry. He's three years old. You can touch him on his hip there. Now if you know... <laughs> Larry's jaws are taped. Making him socially acceptable, he won't make any snap decisions. And that was me. <laughs> you guys have an opportunity now to hold Larry. If you like, you can take photos with him. Now, we do ask $2 per person. Now, that $2 would go towards the care and the feeding of the animals here at Gator Park. Also, here at Gator Park, Tips are greatly appreciated. Oh, 
Đây là về quê nội nha ở ở kiên giang rạch giá nè hôm nay là về hôm nay là về vĩnh long ăn trái cây He's trying to do it one-handed with this coffee in his hand. Anh đoàn hôm nay về nhà anh ăn trái cây hả anh đoàn? Yesterday, but if you're interested, we can you know put it on. Maybe that a ten pound. Oh, it might be more. Yeah, the little one I know is a still green, and I don't know if that oh. it either it either fell off or somebody picked it and left it. Got it. And
quay cái phượng ở đây nha cái mừng cục không á quá chừng luôn ồ chưa chưa Cái này này rẻ trồng quân nha. Ngon lắm. Thế bằng con nè. Mít nè, con mày đừng vô con mày, con mày mét ra. cái này là cây vú sữa nha sang cô chê sang cô chê sao anh chê đúng không sang cô chê có gái rồi bác the parks being one is the lady uh, Mary Heinland. Mary Heinland lived in this area. She and her husband, they owned a nursery, uh, but she was devoted to the idea of a tropical fruit uh, park where these tropical fruit trees can be showcased. Now, keep in mind at those times, uh, the primary fruits they had available in the area were avocados, mangoes, bananas, citrus, uh, perhaps carambola. We have approximately 500 different varieties of tropical fruit trees, nuts, herbs, and spices in the park. Uh, this is the only park like this in the United States. Granted, we, are, uh, we have the weather and the soil. Although it's not truly tropical soil, it's subtropical. We have a lot of coral rock and limestone. So we have problems during hurricane season with the trees falling because the roots don't anchor very deeply because of the, the, the rocks. Now, Mary Heinlein ran the park for the first 15 years it was in, in, in existence. Uh, most of the trees in the initial park came from her nursery. Uh, however, they were lost in 1992 to the Hurricane Andrew. Hurricane Andrew the park was down for a period of time, a few years. Uh, Mr. Rollins, he's the current director. Uh, he's away on vacation now, and he travels crunchy and the wet. Uh, it's a nice mixture. Uh, and, and really, really pleasant to the taste. This particular variety is called black gold. Uh, perhaps one of the best one is uh, Borneo Red, which is an excellent, excellent one, and more crunchy, not as much juicy. Hello, Hi, welcome. Morning. My name is James. I'm your tour guide. Okay. 
Uh, this is an interesting tree, and uh, as soon as I can find the fruit to show you. Okay, this is called Randia Formosa. It's from around Mexico and Guatemala uh, of the tree. How do you spell that? J A B O T I C A B A. You're going too fast. J A B O. J A J A J A. Bot B O T I C A B A. Okay, it's an excellent fruit. Uh, they use it primarily for wines, but they also use it to make ice creams. You can eat it fresh as a grape. What I do with it is I take and I, I, I boil them and I throw away the pulp and I have my own homemade grape drink. The trees are prolific. Uh, okay, we go this way. We're going to have to walk a little bit. There have been times when all the trees have fruit. On an average, they grow the size of a quarter, so that's fairly a large uh, one. You want be looking for one that's fairly soft. The birds love them too. Okay. Um, and what you gotta do is you can uh, sort of bite into it. Get in. Get in. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. You can uh, bear six times a year. The downside is that if you plant the seed, you're looking at eight to twenty years before you get a fruit. <laughs> There are some tropical fruits that I mean, anything good is worth waiting for, right? <laughs> so it's, it's um, propagated by cotton.